What's up, Chaclets? How you guys doing today? So I'm excited. I am about... Well, first off, hold on. I just cut my hair. What do you guys think? I did a little bit different than usual. Usually, uh, I mean, it's pretty dang close, but usually I cut a lot more off the top. But I left it pretty long up here. So comment down below. What do you guys think? Too long? Should I trim it back? I don't know. Usually I have to wait a couple days before I adjust to it and decide whether I like it or not. But I think I like it. <laughs> Anyways, it's just really, really long. Okay, back to what I was going to talk about. Uh, I'm about ready to jump on a Skype call with a fellow YouTuber who I have met multiple times and he is an epic dude. You guys excited? Who do you think it is? Before you see who it is, comment down below. Who do you think I'm going to talk to? Dude, what's up? What's up, dude? Two hours later. Clintus McGintis. If you haven't heard of Clintus TV, you definitely need to go check him out. Awesome guy. Uh, I've just been having a great time talking YouTube with him. Uh, I, it's not very often I get to sit down and talk to someone who likes talking about analytics and other nerdy YouTube stuff. So thank you, man, for uh, doing that. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm very nerdy, for sure. So I've made it to uh, the airport. I don't think I mentioned my mom is coming into town uh, to see us. She comes into town every few uh, months. And so I'm heading to the airport to pick her up. And it is mad, mad traffic. But every time I come to the airport, I immediately think of when I shot my Casey Neistat video of how to vlog like Casey Neistat. If you haven't seen it, gotten pretty popular lately. Anyways, back to the topic. I'm at the airport, picking up my mom. Hope I can find her. Nice weather! time-lapsing my uh, adventure. <laughs> <laughs> time-lapsing your traffic. <laughs> All right, we got it. Let's go home. <laughs> We decided to go out to lunch and we've gone to Panera Bread and I've never been here before, but I ordered a meal and it comes with a pastry. So I got this cinnamon scone something. It basically, it sounds like a cinnamon roll in scone form. So I'm excited about that. But I've never been to a Panera Bread and I don't feel hip enough to be here. <laughs> I feel very out of place, but the food smells delicious. So I'm excited to try it out. two three terabyte drives which gives me three terabytes of space because it's arrayed so it splits it amongst it for redundancy I've already used up all three terabytes so I ordered another two three terabyte drives to install it so that way I then again double my space or I think a little bit more than double um, unless I do a dual write I'm not 100% sure how much space is going to give me, but I know it's going to give me a lot more and I think I'll have anywhere from 6 to 9 terabytes of space now, which will be glorious. I think that'll last me another couple years. Cross your fingers. So I now have 4 of my 5 slots filled. So I have one more slot for expansion. Oh, there you go. I got the green light. So after I fill up that one last slot, I then have to, instead of buying an additional drive, have to replace my old drives with larger drives. But the good news is that's a, it's, a, it's a possibility of doing that. You can just pop out a small drive and put it in a bigger drive. I didn't even know what a terabyte was 10 years ago, so who knows if in 10 years from now, maybe I'll need a petabyte. No clue. Petabyte. If you don't know what it is, Google it.
you guys, I have been charging my battery and trying to get my car to start for like the past two to three days and I could not get it. And finally I just held the thing down and gave it gas for like five minutes straight. I was like, this is either going to destroy my car or make it work. And it finally started to catch and it finally started to turn over. And when it finally did catch, that giant cloud of smoke came out. And some of you may be asking, wait, I thought you bought a new car. Why do you still have the Mazda? Well, I didn't sell it right away because I wanted to wait, wait until we got some blue sky like we have here to get it cleaned up and sell it because it's a sports car and sports cars always sell better in the summer. So anyways, I got it finally running. That was just a lot of smoke. And you guys didn't even see it all. When I first started it, it like enveloped the entire car. So this is the first nice day we've had in at least a week, if not like a month. And it's the first warm day we've had of the season. So like everybody else, we decided to come to the dog park. <laughs> Apollo loves the dog park because everybody here is a dog person. So he gets attention from everybody because he is fairly unique and he's peeing in a puddle. Does anybody else's dog, every puddle Apollo sees, he tries to mark. He doesn't mark fire hydrants or trees. He marks puddles. It makes no sense, but that's what he does. Ready? Woo! Faster. Faster. So Apollo found another Great Dane friend, but the funny thing is, is for some reason, big dogs like Great Danes and stuff don't really interest him. And actually the other Great Dane owner said the same thing. He would much rather play with a small little 20 pound dog than another Great Dane. So they look cool and they're awesome together, but apparently Great Danes don't really like playing with Great Danes. I don't know. Maybe it'd be different if they lived in the same house, but because they don't really know each other, I guess they don't really like to play. It's weird. I'm sorry. At first I was the one that was gonna freak out, but...